Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Pandemic Playgrounds and welcome back to Space Industry and it is time to continue on now. Now I did work on the conveyor, so this is the newest model and yes, I did not use the half blocks like I should have, like for the, what do you call those doors? But instead, uh, I kept it in this model for now. I will change that up because I did read the comments and it is a good idea to use the blast doors as the connecting points. But I will do that next. What I did do is put this on pistons so I could actually have some sort of levitation with it. And um, the landing gears are on hinges so it could tilt up and everything. Also, I am planning to replace this, but I am having a little issues trying to move this guy using one of these flying things. You see that flying thing that I put over there? Yeah, anytime that I try to lift it up because I think it's a free moving object, uh, it tilts it and it has a really hard time flying. So I can't accurately move this if I wanted to fly it over there. So instead I'm going to build a vehicle, which you can see from this time lapse. This is the vehicle that we built. Um, the only thing I got going on is that I got dual cockpit. Uh, I might put some lights on it. This is like some base model, but I do like this um, trailer hitch system. I got it on a rotor on the bottom over here so I could pivot left and right. And then I put the landing gear on a hinge so I could go up and down if it hits a bump or something. Got a little landing gear here just so I could lift it off the ground if I need to detach. And yeah, right now I'm actually building this hinge system so I could turn it into sort of like a flatbed and I could just drive it onto the back portion of this. And that's what I'm working on. So what I'm going to be doing right now is just finishing this off. And I kind of want the bed to go like so. Here I'm planning to put a piston. I mean, not a piston. Well, yes, a piston, but a hinge first. And I am going to rotate this up, upward a little. And put a piston on here. And a hinge on this end. And then right above that, I'm planning to put, nope, that's not going to work. One block over. There we go. Let me lower it and try to keep an eye on it so I know when it gets to that point. And I should be able to attach it like this. There you go. Let me name this piston so I don't lose track of it. And let's extend this. Where's retract? It's shaking so much. Oh, there you go. Remove this guy out of the way. And there we have it. I'm going to extend this out a little. Does this work? Nope, I need the other block. I'm just trying to see which block I should use on this side. That's why I'm... Yeah, that should be good. Okay. So I need to remove the last row. Put this guy there. And then put that other one there. Oh, that's still not long enough, so I need to do one more. Okay, let's lower this and see how this works. Okay, 
Okay, I do need to get rid of this piston. And where is it getting caught? Okay, it's getting caught over there. Alright, before I do that, let's finish up the back. That was weird. Trying to make it so it always stays at a slight angle. Minimum distance, maybe I should bring it up to 0.1. Oh, why is it not going back down to be flat? I feel like everything is in place. Okay, so let's connect the corners just to be safe. Drop this, come on. Get rid of that. Put a piston here. Take a button. Okay, cool. I'm gonna give this a try. Let's see how this works. This is why I'm not a truck driver. Okay. Perfect. Come on. How's that? Okay, let's see if I can get that on like this because it, it kind of like won't allow for it, so. Is it not strong enough or something? That might be a mistake. I knew it. Ooh. Ah. Now what do I do? It's too heavy. It is too heavy. What if... I did this instead. And I drove it underneath. Like that. There we go. Okay, so I need to get it under there. So basically I have to drive straight in. Doing a high level concentration right here. That's why I'm not talking much. How far off am I? I don't know if I could get it in there.
I have to be so close to it. Like, I almost have it. Oh, I do. Is it off the ground? It is off the ground. I'm going to be able to kind of maneuver it to where I need it to. This truck, this tractor trailer thing is working really great. I mean, other than the fact that I screwed up on dropping it. That was pretty easy to move. <laughs> All right. I am going to replace all this and I think it might clean. Let me save this file. So what I need to do needs to happen quick. So what I got to do is delete this and then delete this really quick. So it's right click and then control X. Oh. That didn't work out as planned at all. Let me load the save file. I'm just deleting everything. That's fine. That's fine. I knew that was going to happen. All right, there we go. All right, I paved myself a pretty good runway to kind of drive it back I'm majorly stuck. This is working. I'm trying to nudge the rear end back in. Alright guys, I think I'm going to call it a night for this. I'm um, having a little trouble trying to move that. I might have to come up with a second plan. Uh, I'm not that great at driving a trailer and to get it straight. I'm going to have to put this back to the blackboard and see what I could do. But as of now, I know this trailer does work pretty well. So I might just keep it and kind of improve on this idea a little. Maybe to move these conveyor belts to the spot that I needed to. Uh, ultimately, I might get rid of this row right here and have the dispenser just have it go right directly onto a belt because that belt is pretty tall so that should work out pretty well i think that's what my plan is try to figure another way to get this into position and 
yeah that is it anyway if you guys enjoyed this video so i have any other ideas on what i could do to move this uh, let me know down in the comments below and thanks for watching